everybody. We're going to get started here. We have Scouter Dave and Scouter Susie who are going to be running us through some programming today. Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight, everybody. My name is David. I am the Council Commissioner in Tri Shores in the southwestern part of Ontario. And I am also uh, the Canada Food House Manager at the World Scout Jamboree in 2023 in Saman Gum in South Korea. We're excited and we want to bring along, bring you along. So if you haven't registered yet, there's still opportunity to get involved uh, for youth participants and uh, for international service team. And, and I'm always looking for some people to have some fun in our kitchen. But what we do know is we're going to do uh, one of the most uh, uh, famous dishes out of, out of uh, South Korea uh, is to have a little bit of barbecue beef. Uh, so if you ever see those, those Korean barbecue houses, this is going to be one of the signature dishes of the house to have a uh, bulgogi. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to go and serve this. Uh, I've seen it done interactively at a table, uh, uh, kind of like the Japanese teppanyaki tables where everybody's kind of gathered around and, the, and the, 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 the Benny Hanna chefs, he's got, the, he's got the cleavers and he's throwing stuff up in the air and he throws a shrimp at you, you try and catch it, he usually bounces it off your glasses and sets a volcano on fire, it's very exciting. Um, but this would be something that would be a little bit more chill, sitting around with some of your friends, uh, having a cup of tea and, uh, and having your own little uh, barbecue grate and you'd just be grilling some beef and then there'd be all kinds of condiments, uh, accoutrements. Uh, tonight, we're gonna serve it over a little bit of sticky rice and uh, serve that in a, uh, in a lettuce wrap. Uh, so it's gonna be something that's very, very portable. This would be a great recipe that you can go on and take to Canada. So uh, first of all, we need to get going. A staple uh, uh, of uh, uh, Eastern culture is uh, to have rice. So we've got some sticky rice, uh, very important as a base that it takes a little bit longer than the rest of the procedure. So we're gonna start with the last thing in the recipe first. I've got a little bit of, uh, Calrose rice or, or uh, sushi rice would work. A short grain or, or uh, um, a short grain rice or a sticky rice would work very, very well because uh, I want something that's going to hold together once it's once it's cooked. I'm looking for that that uh, that clumpiness, that that stickiness. Uh, glutinous rice, perfect. Scatter Susie's got uh, got some great rice. So I've already got a cup of rice here. I got a bowl. We're just going to get that rice soaking a little bit. Thank you. Uh, you can see all that starch is, is uh, going to take a little while to get out of that rice. So we want to kind of move it around a little bit and it's, and it's going to be almost as cloudy as milk. So we want to get some of that exterior starch off there very carefully. I got to pour off that excess water. And I got to put some fresh water in there. And I'm going to do that oh, one, two, three, three times. And then we're going to let it soak for uh, 15 minutes. And then we're going to let that rice hydrate a little bit in, uh, in some cold water. So again, you can see how, uh, how cloudy that is, how, how, uh, how much starch is in that rice. Very important to wash your rice. Just a rinse and a soak. And so I've done that three times now. Now I'm just going to let that rice I'm just gonna let that rice sit on my counter there and and, uh, and soak for a little bit. That's the main part of that. Uh, next step that we're gonna go on. Uh, so I've got a, a, a couple of things that we're gonna go on here. A lot of them are fairly common uh, ingredients in your kitchen. I've got some soy sauce. I've got some brown sugar, a light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, golden yellow sugar, just not the refined white stuff, okay? Uh, I've got some uh, light brown sugar, some honey, Pure Ontario honey. Here we go. Our soy sauce. Okikaman's a, a, a great brand scouter, Susie. And, and she has chosen a low sodium. Mirin might be the one of those weird ingredients that you might not have in your kitchen. And that's okay. There are some substitutes for it. Uh, oh, we got a bottle of mirin right there because that is, uh, that is rice wine. I've actually chosen to go for a little uh, rice wine vinegar. And I've got some soy sauce here. We're going to, or sorry, not soy sauce. I said soy sauce already. Uh, sesame oil is what I've got going on there. Uh, garlic. I'm actually going to put a little bit of fresh uh, ginger root into, into mine. Uh, good in there. I've got some black pepper. And then the other guy that I've got is our Asian pear. Uh, I could substitute a, a little pear puree. Um, 
kiwi uh, would work as well. Oh, you already got a little bit of puree in there. Perfect. The, the nice thing, like I said, uh, about using the Asian pears is it doesn't go brown uh, like, like an apple does. And I think that's it. We're going to put our, our marinade together right now. So we'll, we'll come down to the board here. I've got some measuring spoons. I've got a, a little bit of a peeler here or a little peel. I'm going to take that peel off. There's a couple of different ways that we can make that puree. I could, I could throw it in a blender or a food processor, but I don't need that much of it. So I've got all kinds of crazy tools that are around here. You might have a grater, uh, a box grater for grating your cheese. I've got a, a, a microplane, and that's what I'm going to use tonight. Uh, you, you could use a, uh, a regular uh, box grater. Like like that, yeah, I think everybody's probably got one of those, uh, one of these weapons kicking around in here. These are great for taking the skin off your knuckles. But I've got my grater here and this is gonna give me a nice, a nice puree. Uh, so I've got that going on there. I need uh, two tablespoons. Can you stop that, Abigail? Thank you very much. Okay, I've got my, uh, my, app, or my apple uh, uh, puree in there. I got three tablespoons of my, Soy sauce, one, a two, and a three. I've got my light brown sugar. If you got an old bag of brown sugar like I do, I've got uh, these, these little terracotta discs in there. They're supposed to make your brown sugar soft. Um, it didn't work for me. Um, in advance, you could put a little bit of bread crumb or a bread crust in there or a slice of apple uh, will help keep your bread crumb or your uh, brown sugar soft. Uh, but more often than not, stop that, Abigail. I'm not. Uh, you could, you could uh, microwave, you take, take out what you need and microwave it for, for like 10 seconds, then 10 seconds, then 10 seconds. I know it's 30. It's not the same thing. Give it 10 seconds, then 10 seconds, then 10 seconds. Don't put it in for 30 because uh, it'll start to smoke. So I got my, uh, my brown sugar in there. There we go. It's going to crumble that up. There's some big old gnarly pieces in there. And I've got my honey. And I need uh, two tablespoons of that. As I mentioned, uh, mirin. Uh, uh, Scouter Susie's got mirin. I've got rice vinegar, which is fine as, as a substitute. And I've got a one and a two. And then I think all I need left there for liquids is my sesame oil. This marinade can get done up in advance. Is we, if we've got a marinade, um, you about, uh, really you only want to go overnight with it at, at most. Uh, if you go longer than that, um, the the, uh, the enzymes in the uh, Asian pear uh, will begin to denature the proteins in there, and uh, it, it'll it'll break. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do is break them, uh, make break down those tough fibers in a in a in a tougher cut of meat or. A, less expensive piece of meat. But if you marinate it too long, it'll just start to fall apart. Or it'll get, uh, uh, you've marinated it too long and it'll end up being really, really dry. And you know that's not really what we're shooting for. Uh, garlic, we're gonna put in, uh, come on, bring two tablespoons of garlic. You could use the stuff that's already chopped in a jar. Yep, that's just fine there. Uh, this is a ceramic uh, board used for making purees. And you just rub that back and forth and that'll take all of the fiber out of the garlic. This works for garlic and this works for ginger really, really well. And of course, in the, the Japanese restaurants, they're doing this with wasabi. Two cloves of garlic or two tablespoons of garlic there. See that? Awesome, eh? So I'm gonna plop a little bit of that in there. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of ginger root. Oh, there's my there's my peeler. There we go. And just like just like our garlic there, I'm gonna get that nice uh I could get that nice ginger puree and you can see all the, that gnarly fiber that's in that ginger there. And that would be really intense, that, that flavor of the dry ginger. 
Uh, you would probably only use maybe uh, uh, if, if you like that flavor that's in there, the dry uh, the dry ginger. Um, you probably just go with like a like a, a half a teaspoon, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon. Start with a little. You can you can always add more. It's really tough to take it away once you got it in there, right? Uh, what else do we need in there? We need some ground pepper. So I got my pepper mill in here. You can use the stuff from the shaker if you like. So I got my ground black pepper. And I'm gonna mix all that together. Where's my, I got a little mixer. There we go. Now there's a couple of things I'm gonna add to this marinade. Once I've got this all mixed up, I am going to add some toasted sesame seeds. Now I, I think I've got it toasted in there. Toasted sesame seeds. I've got some white sesame seeds right there. And I've got some black sesame seeds. And I'm gonna give them a little toast on the, on the stove. So hot pan, get them toasted until I can smell them. Uh, this same procedure would work if I wanted to have uh, toasted uh, pecans or almonds or, or walnuts or pine nuts or anything like that. It really does help awaken the, the natural oils that are in a, in, a, in a sesame seed or a sunflower seed or something like that. So I've got them toasted roasting in there. There we go. I don't know if you can really see that. It's dark pan, but there we go. We'll get them in there. And then the last thing we need is some uh, green onion. I've already washed them and we're just gonna, we're gonna mince that uh, uh, super fine here on the board. Super fine. Get the green tops on there. Again, there's a little bit of acidity in the green onion tops. Here we go. Into our marinade. And that's all nice and ready to rumble. So step two, now that we got our, our marinade ready, we'll give that a little mixy loo, a little stir. How are we doing for time there? That's probably about enough time that we can rinse that rice off one more time. We'll go back to our rice there. You can see that water has gotten cloudy again. We're gonna pour that water off. And now I'm gonna rinse it in the colander. Now we had a cup of rice. We started off with a cup of rice, dry rice. We've rinsed it. Uh, we've let it soak. We've rinsed it again. Now we need to take a pot. We're gonna put our soaked rice in there. We're gonna add one cup of water to it, plus one tablespoon. We're gonna bring that up to a boil for uh, three and a half minutes. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna turn that heat down uh, to low and we're gonna let it go for 15 to 17 minutes. So we're gonna get that rice cooking. Now that we got our marinade together, we're gonna trim up and slice our meat and we're gonna look after our other garnishes on there. So get your pot, your rinsed rice, Try to dump it all over the floor. A cup of water. And, oh, you're gonna watch me do that, weren't you? I'll actually measure it. There's my, there's my one tablespoon measure. A cup and a tablespoon. Again, uh, we're gonna get that up to a boil, uh, three and a half minutes, and then, uh, we're gonna turn the heat down and, and, uh, and 15 minutes, okay? So beef cuts in there. If we're gonna marinate this for a long, long time, uh, we can use a, a piece like, uh, like hanger or flank steak. Uh, great options for you there. Uh, tonight, like I said, we're gonna use a little, uh, a little top sirloin. <laughs> so I opted for the pre-cut stuff because that's oh, perfect. easier for me. And it's beef sirloin tip because that just happens to be the grocery store we were in at the time. That, that's that's perfect. Yeah, if, if you're not comfortable, um, uh, if you got a decent grocery store or if you have a, a butcher that you like working with, they could certainly do this up for you. 
great, great way to go and, and uh, uh, save yourself a little bit of time. Um, I've got my, uh, my nice sirloin steak in here. I'm, I'm gonna trim up a little bit of this, uh, this fat and connective tissue that's on the outside of it. You see that? That's gonna be that chewy bit there. That's, that's uh, gonna get stuck in one of your molars in the back of your mouth. It's gonna drive you crazy about three in the morning. Uh, so I'm gonna get that off. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, if this is a youth that's doing this, maybe this is something that you wanna get uh, a little bit of help with. And uh, just to make life a little bit easier for me, uh, I'm gonna take that, that steak that I've got here. And there's, there's two ways that you can look at this. Here, I, I gotta show you this. Um, so there, you can see uh, all, all the grains at the end. It'd, it'd be like just grabbing a bunch of pasta and looking at the, the end of your spaghetti. All the fibers of the meat are going uh, to, to, to this end here. If I turn the steak on the side, I don't know if you guys can see that particularly well. Where there's a good, there's a good spot for me to get that right up there. You can see all the fibers are kind of running this way. So that's what they talk about when they, they say cut against the grain. So you want to cut perpendicular against the uh, the fibers that are in that meat. Because if you go the other way, you're just going to make it strain, and it's going to get stuck in your teeth, and it's going to be three in the morning, and you're going to be really upset. So now, uh, now that I've got uh, my steak cut in half with the grain, I'm now going to make my thin slices against the grain. <laughs> so very thin slices, thin as you can go. You see that? There we go. Thin, thin little slices of beef. Everybody's checking on the rice. That was three and a half minutes, I said. There we go. So I've got my, my nice thin slices of beef there. I've already got the other steak, so I'm all, I'm all ready to go. So our marinade, oh, there we go. There's our beef. We'll get these two together. And if we're gonna eat this right away, um, we can let this sit on the counter for, for about an hour or so. Uh, as long as it's not super hot out or, or uh, indirect sunlight. There, turn the heat down on my rice. Did everybody else turn the heat down on the rice? Set your timer for 15 minutes now. So uh, I've just thrown on a glove here because I'm going to go and mix this meat up there. I've got my, my toasted sesame seeds. I've got my garlic. I've got my ginger, my green onion, honey, uh, rice wine vinegar, pepper, brown sugar all those things. So if you've got a meeting night, uh, I can get my beef sliced. I can make my marinade. Uh, maybe the night before you're going to camp, uh, then I get to get those two together. I can put them in a Ziploc bag, squeeze all the air out of it and get it into the bottom of my cooler uh, and, and raring to go. I wouldn't recommend freezing it because again, those enzymes in there, oh, see as soon as he's got it, perfect. And then the rice, you can make it camp. Uh, let's, let's talk about some of the other, uh, uh, garnishes and, uh, accoutrements that we've got in there for anybody that's going to South Korea. Uh, we talked about the national dish. This is probably their national food. I, I would, I would dare say is to have some kimchi. So let's get that right up in there. I have used a particular brand. This, this, uh, this one is, uh, vegan, uh, or, or vegetarian. Uh, so there's cabbage in here, there's chilies, uh, there's green onion in there, and then that's got some salt uh, and vinegar on there, and that's allowed to ferment. And uh, as the, the, the longer it ferments, uh, the stronger the flavor, uh, the more pungent, but it is, you want to talk about good gut health, like people go out and spend a lot of money on, on, uh, on medications and stuff like that, and, and uh, uh, in restoring their gut health, uh, but this, like just have wide and varied diet that's going to get you there uh so what do you think of that Susie? thumbs up you a kimchi fan now not, <laughs> not, not even a bit no it's really good i really like it but apparently um she's not a fan so it's good just very 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 spicy very spicy <laughs> i'm very sure spicy. with something else it would be very good so i've got uh, i've got some of that kimchi i i've taken out some pieces of cabbage 
and uh, and and I've got it finely shredded in there because uh, I'm just going to use like a little bit as a garnish on the top. So just uh, take out one or two pieces of cabbage, uh, finely chop that. I've got some some yummy green onions. Uh, can I get that right up to the camera there without spilling it? There we go. Um, I've got some uh, green onion there, and I, I finally sliced that on an angle, and I've just got that in a little bit of uh, ice water. I'm going to take some of that off now and, and drain it on a paper towel. You'll, you're at home. You're cooking along. You're going to be eating this probably after we get off camera, uh, but just for uh, the sake of everybody's time there, I can see uh, where we're moving right along. There's my green onions. Sun, uh, uh, not sunflower seeds. What are these things? Sesame seeds. I got those ready to go. I've got a, a, a nice little head of, uh, of Boston, living Boston lettuce. That's the, and if you flip him up, there's the little, uh, there's the little root ball that's, that's right there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is just twist that off and I'm going to put that in a, in a colander. I'm going to rinse these, uh, I'm going to rinse, rinse. I was going to say wince, uh, but rinse these guys off uh, to get that little bit of dirt that's off them. So a quick, uh, a quick twist. There's the root, all in one shot. There we go. Love my lettuce spinner. So our Boston lettuce is ready to go. Our garnishes are ready to go. And the rest of this is gonna to come together super quick now. I got my, uh, my tasty, tasty slices, thin slices of beef. My, I've, got, I've got a second, I've got a pot of rice that I already started and it's hot and ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is get a pan hot. I've already got my rice hot. I've got all my other garnishes in there. So all I gotta go and do now is, is take, a, take a leaf of lettuce. We're gonna put a spoon of rice on there, a slice of beef, some green onions, some kimchi. We're gonna roll it on and up and we're gonna pop it in our mouth. That's all we gotta go and do for that. Uh, so. I'm going to take some of these slices of beef that, you know, it's raw beef. Don't taste it now, uh, but it really smells good. <laughs> little sizzle. So I've got about six or eight slices of beef uh, uh, going in my pan right now. I got some kimchi. Get the kimchi in. You got your kimchi out. My green onions. Thank you. I'm just gonna take some of those. I should have toasted more of some of those black and white sesame seeds. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Oh my God. The smell of this, guys. Let's just get a let's just get a look at that, folks. Hey, eh? what do you think? Here I've got my rice. That pan's just off the stove there. Oh my goodness. That smells good. Really Doesn't it smell fantastic? So there, I, I got some sticky rice. You can see how that's all, all tight together. That's what we want. Something that we can kind of turn into a ball. And put that little ball right there. Is that good? Can everybody see that? I got that little ball in there. Where I got a clean pair of tongs here. We're gonna lay that right across the top. 
with some kimchi, just a little bit. A couple of bits of green onion. And there we go. What do you think of that, folks? Is that curling your toes or what? So now we're that looks gonna, really good. We're just going to pinch that closed. There's a recipe online in the chat. 